Good morning. Thank to the Lord. Our God, our maker, the only true God, the everlasting King, the ancients of days, the rose of Sharon, the palm of Gilead, the great God that existed, who still come to take us home. Say me your name, the highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the grace of God, we will look at the topic title is It's the Truth, Matthew 27, verse 4. That's where we are reading, and that's our test. Saying, I have seen that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And he said, What is that to us? See thou to that. The religious Jews who had courted Judas favor to obtain his cooperation in arresting Jesus cared nothing for him. They simply used him. The devil cried to flatter you and see that you prosper as long as they can use you. But when there is no longer anything in need for them, they will forsake you just as the chief priest did to Judas. The serpent didn't come to eat in the garden, threatening to bite her if she didn't eat of the forbidden fruits. Instead, he came in deception, presenting himself as being consigned for our welfare. Satan's greatest weapon is deceit, which is bending the truth, using hard truth, and Outright lie. He will take the word of God and twist it just a little. Hard to eat. Eventually, he will say the exact opposite of what God originally said. Just as athletes or military person sources depend partly on how well they know their opponents, believers must not be ignorant of Satan's devices. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11 Jesus strikes me Satan of all his authority Matthew 28 18 and the only influence Satan has over us now is deception Deception. if he can get us to believe a lie something that does not line up with God's word he can get us to use our own power and authority against us. The thing that makes deception so deadly is that those who are deceived don't know it. Once they realize they are deceived, they aren't deceived anymore. Is it the truth? Satan is only interested in fighting the truth. Satan made purpose against the Christendom is to destroy the power of the truth. Because once the power of truth is destroyed, deception becomes rampant. Deception becomes the order of the day. And we can find that really in our churches today. Deception everywhere. No matter how spiritual you may feel you are, you can still be deceived if you are not loyal to God. Deception, do not look at your title. Being a picture, pa- pastor, prophet, apostle does not stop the devil from bringing his crafty nature of deception. The greatest weapon of the devil against the children of God is the deceptive weapon. For the word of God said, it is not say we should be weird of the power of Satan. The weird do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. So the devil is no longer using power against the children of God. He is rather using deception against the children of God. Therefore, making the children of God to use God's power in them against themselves. Once a child of God is deceived, the truth is taken away from that child of God. The child of God begins to pop chase the dark, begin to chase the opposite of the actual. Fine demon exists, but the fact remains that the basic problem of this generation 
is that many people have, have been filled with deceptive words. Many people have been oriented based on deception and therefore making them to live in absolute ignorance. So deception has perpetrated as one of the winning weapons and force of darkness is a major tool and gadget of the devil against God's children. The best defense against the devil's deception is to be so word centered that you give no place to him. You have to be word centered. You have to be filled with his word, filled with his constant word. The word has to play the tick tick tock system in you. You have to be oriented, you have to be centered, you have to be guided, you have to be filled with his word. For the word of God says, for thee to show thyself approved. For an approval to come against deception, you need to study. It is only when you study, you can actually divide the words of truth and stand against the words of deception. So, that's, whenever you sense the presence of evil or design an idea or thought that might be the evil, run to the word of God to check it out. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you what is the truth. By so doing, you will catch up the devil and place him where he belongs. Today, the devil is using the weapon of deception vastly on many souls. But I tell you, Christ is always in for us to defend us, to fight for us. Today, check your life and ask him for his strength and ask him for his ability for you to walk in the truth. By his grace, I remain my humble self to Joshua Toale. Please don't forget to follow me on my YouTube, Joshua Sato. Make sure you watch the video. Just go to YouTube, type Joshua Sato. You will see my, my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe for other motivational words that are similar to this and other gospel that you might have missed previously, they are all stuck there. Share this word to the community. Share this word to your status. Share this word to your friends and let them also hear from the throne of Christ. The Lord bless you.